When I say C, y'all say team C C With a paper and a pen, I'm a lyrical poet Yeah, All of us are Jewish and we ain't afraid to show it This week on I Tried It We're warming up with a trip down to Florida To spend some time with Rachel Wilkes of CT Hollywood, Florida Her mission? A whole week of saying blessings on every piece of food she eats Making a blessing on food not only makes us more conscious and aware of our actions, but also gives us the opportunity to connect to Hashem through mundane actions. Look out for more information about blessings at the end of this video. Hey guys, so I've been making brachot on everything I've eaten for the past week. On all drinks and cheeses, we make a bracha shahakal. Baruch Tadanai, Elamina Malchala, Amsha, Kol Niyeh, Bebarah. Baruch Tadanai, Elamina Malchala, Amsha, Kol Niyeh, Bebarah. On my first piece of cake, Baraka Padanai, Elena Malakalam, where my name is Anat. Mmm. Hey, so I'm about to eat hash browns, which is a bracha ha'adama because it's potato. And it has been extremely difficult, you know, forgetting to make a bracha on something and taking a bite, or trying to figure out like what the bracha is for certain foods. Something that I'm finding very hard when it comes to me saying brachot is that I get a lot of looks from people when I go to take a bite of my bagel and all of a sudden I start mumbling crazy words to myself. And people look at me like, well, what is she saying? What is she doing? And it's something very hard to explain to people. I constantly forget to make my brachot and then when I do remember to say it, I feel like I'm getting looks and like I'm really uncomfortable with the whole thing. I'm hoping that it gets better over time. But on the bright side, something that I really realized that helped me is that I connected with Hashem. So by doing that, it's something that every time I make a bracha comes back into my head. Wow, I just thank God for the food He gave me, and that was something special to me. Someone asked me what my favorite bracha was to make, and I think that it would be a shahakol because I drink more than I eat throughout the day. So it's something that I really get to connect with, and one that I have have ingrained in my brain by now. Making a bracha on everything you eat and drink is very special to do throughout the day because it helps you have multiple bonds with Hashem, which is truly amazing. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, please like and leave us a comment below. Want to feature in a CT Connections I Tried It video? Email Lee Hershevik at ctncentral.com for more info.